Hello and welcome to our daily prayers for Saturday. If you don't have the words for the prayers we're about to use, you'll find them in the description box just below this video screen. There you will also find contact details for our minister, Ian. May I also take this opportunity to warmly invite you to join us for our Sunday morning service and you'll find that 11 o'clock on YouTube tomorrow. Just before we start, we're going to take a couple of moments of quiet just to still our hearts and minds. The peace of Christ be with us all, and we say together, Through the Holy Spirit he has given us, God's love has flooded our hearts. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sow righteousness for yourselves. Reap the fruit of unfailing love. Break up your unploughed ground. For it is time to seek the Lord until he comes and rains righteousness upon us. Today's psalm is number 60. Psalm 60. You have rejected us, God, and burst upon us. You have been angry. Now restore us. You have shaken the land and torn it open. Mend its fractures, for it is quaking. You have shown your people desperate times. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. But for those who fear you, you have raised a banner to be unfurled against the bow. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah is my scepter, Moab is my washbasin, on Edom I toss my sandal, over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, God, you who have now rejected us and no longer go out with our armies? Give us aid against the enemy for human help is worthless. With God, we shall gain the victory and he will trample down our enemies. And we say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Let, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever. Amen. We're continuing in our readings in the Gospels, and we're in John's Gospel. Chapter 8, beginning at the first verse. John chapter 8, verse 1. Jesus went down to the Mount of Olives. At dawn he appeared again in the temple courts, where all the people gathered round him, and he sat down to teach them. The teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group and said to Jesus, Teacher, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. In the law, Moses commanded us to stone such women. Now what do you say? They were using this question as a trap in order to have a basis for accusing him. But Jesus bent down and started to write on the ground with his finger. When they kept on questioning him, he straightened up and said to them, Let any of you who is without sin, be the first to throw a stone at her. Again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. At this, 
those who heard began to go away, one at a time, the older ones first, until only Jesus was left, with the woman still standing there. Jesus straightened up and asked her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin. We're continuing to pray together using the prayer on the sheet and after that there'll be a time of silence and that's a chance for you to bring to God the things that are on your heart and the things that he lays on your heart. So we pray together. Promise keeping God as you surprised and amazed the disciples of Jesus by pouring out your spirit upon them at Pentecost. Fill our lives and hearts with the Holy Spirit, that we might keep in step with the Spirit, to pray and act according to your will. When we do not know what to pray, inspire and empower our prayers in Jesus' name. And we pray in silence. And we continue praying together. Life-giving spirit, comforter and counsellor, lead us into all truth, so that in times of trial we might trust in God's word and empower us to live as faithful witnesses of Jesus, so that by prayer and action we might bring comfort to others and lead them to Christ, in whom alone is life and hope. Amen. Out of his glorious riches, may God strengthen us with power through his Spirit in our inner beings, so that Christ may dwell in our hearts through faith. Being rooted and established in love, may we have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that we may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. The power of the Holy Spirit fill us afresh today. May the love of the Father enfold us, the wisdom of the Son enlighten us, the fire of the Spirit inflame us, and may the blessing of God rest upon us today and forevermore. Amen. I'm so glad you were able to join us for daily prayers today. And I do hope you'll be able to join us tomorrow, 11 o'clock on YouTube, for our Sunday morning service. And may you know the Lord Jesus with you for the rest of today. <laughs>